right thing coordinated up to the right time when the election polls open? So, as I said, if you want to do an interview, then I'll find someone who can do an interview. But if you, so if you send I'll me your details... I'll give you my details. details. Are you, well, what part do you not understand? My name's Tom Gold. I'm from the Independence Radio Alliance, and I'm here to ask for someone I, to I do an interview. Get why you, do you want I don't my number? Get why you, I don't get why you're being so aggressive. I'm not being aggressive. You're well, you asking me to send you aggressive. details. When I'm telling you my details just now, I can give you my number and you can get somebody to phone me back. Why do I have to go through an email process when I'm on the phone to you telling you what I'm here for? It's quite simple. Be- I'm not being aggressive. I'm just, I'm just well, bemused. Aggressive, right? No, I'm not. Well, I'm, I'm just bemused. You, well, I'm bemused I'm by your lack of you ingenuity. Like your, your, lack of, no, your lack of ingenuity and brain power to actually get someone on the phone so, who's able to conduct is, an interview. I mean, I'm not sure if... Sort of insulting me is, is the way that you're going to get an interview. Well, you're insulting yourself by saying put all the details down. It's plain and simple. My name's Tom Gold. I'll speak to you for about the fifth time. Independence Radio Alliance. I want an interview with someone there. Have you got someone there or not? I think, I think on the basis of your... Uh, right, you really imagine. Imagine. Fucking clowns. Traitors, that's all they are. I ain't aggressive. I'm just bemused by a lack of people in the Better Together campaign who have got a set of boys. We heard last night, last night we heard on the radio, Robert Shorthouse refusing to come on, hanging up. Right. I mean, how stupid are these people? We want your details. I want to talk about the independence campaign with someone there. We're live to the planet and you can't even provide it. Write it down, write it in an email. I don't do fucking emails, you clown. Dear God. Am I speaking gibberish here? Maybe I am. Maybe it's too hard to understand. Just want to speak to somebody. But they don't want to. Well, we'll stand outside 5 Blyswood fucking square and we'll get you on a video. We'll get you there as I'm standing half between Ali G and Roger Cook. And I saw tired onesie with a great big thistle stamped on my face. Right, we'll get it gone. You got to know they're just fucking shite bags. <laughs>
Well, boy, what's happening? What's happening? You're busy? You're doing an interview? Yeah. Crack, crackpot McDougal, I've seen a picture of you with an Irish hat on. Doing an interview with Sky here. Sky? Yeah. What about yeah. you? Yeah. Tell them Rupert Murdoch's a cunt on my behalf, will you? What, you're more than what? Hey, there you go, you did an interview with Sky. I'm only Fraser. There you go, pass on my kind regards. Who put Murdoch as an absolute cunt? Hey, do you want to speak to another cunt here? We'll get another cunt on. That was Willie Fraser. Who wants minty boys? Minty, 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 minty boys. Minty, 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 minty boys. Ach, well, maybe he might phone back. You never know. You got to know. And sadly, Craig Thomas White, the man who duped Mr. Minty Boz, no longer has a number that I duped him on from two years ago. I just wanted to speak to Mr. Murray and say, I'm the duper of the duper, the king of dupers. How could you be duped by such a dafty? Right. You got to know how you made me feel. A bit of cheesy quavers there. Right. Let's dig out Mr. Craig Thomas White's number. Craigie White, Craigie, Craigie White. Na 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 na. You got to respect the Craig stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it, right, here we go. Let's give it a bash. Maybe put it back on for old time's sake. Okay, don't be shy, give it a try. I'm not ringing now. It looks like it's ringing, but it doesn't. Your call cannot be completed at this time in the country you are calling. Please try your call later. Hey? How was that? How can it be made in this country you're calling? Well, I'll get another fucking country number then, don't you worry about that, sweetie? Discriminating because we've got a UK number? Shock or anything? Is it because it's a Blackpool number? Right. Okay, I miss Craigie boy, mate. I miss him. I miss him. I miss him loads. Come back, Craigie boy, come back. Right. Well, I'm moving upwards. We're just doing this as just a, a quick air show because I, I really have to go to, really, 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 really have to go. So I've got to do my stuff. I've got to be somewhere. So we've got another 35 minutes. Absolutely shocking what I've seen the day by the Lawrence stuff. 
poor Neville Lawrence, another inquiry. Where will they pay a rent for those poor people? Hey, what name are we going to go for? What name? McDougall, McTavish. How about Sinclair? Ah, Sinclair. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going with us? We'll take it to Dumfries. We'll go to Dumfries. Inverness. We've not been to Inverness. A nice Masonic name like Sinclair. Yeah, the Sinclair family hold the keys to the Knights Templars Chapel, the Roslyn Chapel. Right, Inverness Shire. Yes, indeed, we'll go for the Inverness Shire. Right, we're looking for Sinclairs. Right. right oh, no, your business, Pash. Sorry, excuse me. Right, let's get back on the campaign trail here. We're on the campaign trail. And uh, blame those half wits last night who kept me up to about five in the morning talking about their flannel juice and gibberish for delaying my rise today. Absolutely shocking. I thought I would at least get a two hour show and I thought I could start for 12, but I couldn't make it for 12. So blame the crackpots from last night. Shocking. An hour's loss of campaigning. Disgraceful. And then we've just been wasted time there by the better fannies. The better fannies together. The deluded tubes. Yes, they'll be sitting there passing it on from the Independence Radio Alliance. <coughs> it's the IRA from the IRA, the Independence Radio Alliance. Write it in an email. I mean, what am I going to put in an email? The same fucking shit I've just told them. What is it with, I mean, in general, what is it with people who want stuff done in fucking email? I mean, I've just phoned them up, made a request. I'll give you my number. If you want to tell me, phone me back, phone me back. Right, in my mess it is. Here we go. Let's get about it. Let's get the next one copied and pasted. We're doing a ten ring max, right? Backed up. We'll get ten. We'll get independence to win here. Hi, I can't come to the phone at the moment, but if you'd like to. Actually, right. We got the next one. Right, if you're no fast, you're last. We need to ramp this right up here. Ramp it fucking right up. Come on, hurry up. One. Two. Three. Uh, seven, one, six, two, double eight. Oh, yes. Good afternoon. Sorry to have bothered you. Uh, my name's Tom Gold. I'm phoning from the Independence Radio Alliance. I was just phoning to take a few minutes of your time regarding the, the independent election that's happening in six months' time. Um, yeah, the referendum. Yes, indeed, the referendum. I was just here to, to ask you, intending on voting on it, uh, uh, sir? Yes, and I'm not telling you which side either. Oh, no, no problem at all. Well, I was here to canvass your views and to ask you just a few questions. Look, are you being uh, disappointed with the amount of negative camp uh, campaigning or just the lack of general information that's out there? I'm totally disappointed in the sense that this campaign started far too early. Indeed. Uh, and all we have is basically unanswered questions from both sides. Interesting. Inter from both sides, yeah? From both sides. Uh, and uh, I think the worst offender probably is Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> who never answers a question but asks a question. True, true. And she actually expects people to decide on the information given that uh, there's a responsibility on both sides of the campaign to provide answers, but the greater responsibility is on the yes side to provide answers. Indeed. Indeed, because if you're asking someone to change, then you should give proof of... Uh, I, I, the reason why I'm phoning you, I'm an ex-salesman. I'm not political, uh, and I used to be up to just a few months ago uh, on the no side, and I listened to a lot of the politicians saying, no, we can't do it, led me to look into a lot of the facts myself, because I realised, look yourself, we're getting fed not a lot of truth. I don't think there's been a single politician or character that says that, no, that we can't do it. What they've actually probably said, there are consequences to doing it. Possibly, yeah. yeah. And I, just, I, I look at it as, well, I, I take it as that when, when they're saying that, they're, they're saying that what can't be done, and I, I, I look at it as a way of, you know,